owner of the Wine Cellar and Brasserie here in San Diego, and I am with... Welcome, Myers McDougall, uh, certified sommelier from the Court of Master Sommeliers, and uh, what wine do we have here today, Mr. Buck? We have a Bohemoth. Yes. It is the uh, 2006 Orange Swift Papillon. Just feel the weight of that bottle. Whoa. <laughs> you know, and that is a monster, huh? And that's half empty. Yeah. You know, so if you've been uh, drinking this stuff all night, you could be bulking yourself up. But uh, uh, that aside, it is a stunning bottle of wine. And uh, is it 100% Cabernet or? No, it's a it's a blend of a number of different things. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. And uh, I think the thing to note about this is the wonderful label. Warren Swift always does some great stuff. We just talked about the Prisoner, which was in the wine club as well, and then we have this Papillon that's in the wine club. And um, they've got uh, Greg Gorman, which has been in photography for over 20 years. He's done all the major movie makers uh, or movie stars, and uh, usually it's about $20,000 per shot for this, so wow. he's a big wine guy. Wow. So what happened was he uh, was approached by Orrin Swift or vice versa, and they did a trade. And I was like, that's stellar. That's great, because uh, you know, the label looks wonderful. It's always nice to see the owner go into that depth with, with their, their product, and uh, working with Dave Finley, the winemaker, too, to, to make this uh, uh, cab blend. So. Yeah, well, it's stunning. It is, uh, it is a monster of a wine. 15.1% uh, alcohol, uh, totally, almost totally black in color, uh, dark burgundy red around the rim, but other than that, you couldn't see it. Legs to come for miles. So this, uh, this is clinging to the glass like, mm -hmm. like I did my mom's apron strings for years. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mostly Cabernet Merlot probably makes up about 85% of the blends with uh, some other uh, Bordeaux varietals in there. Oak's nice and integrated though, it's not overwhelming like a lot of the Napa Cabs. I think it's uh, got some good complexity to it. Um, big fan of this wine, 2006. I think this is definitely a wine for the cellar. Oh man. You can put that away for a while or drink it today. It's so hard for me to keep on the California cabs in my cellar, the three bottles that I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did something about You know, that. Put, it, put, put, it, put them away. But I think this in, you know, five, ten years would still uh, have some fun complexity to it. Boy, I think this has some, um, some, some time to go on it. Uh, but like I said, it's not to say that this isn't a wonderful drinking wine right now. I'm enjoying it. I mean, if I, if I open this up for some of my wine buddies that came over, uh, uh, first of all, if they just looked at the package, they go, they're expecting something because the package is, is quite spectacular. Uh, but uh, the, the proof is in the pudding, and the pudding is marvelous. This yeah. is a great, great, great bottle of red wine, and uh, proud to have the club. What's it going for? It's going for about $46 a bottle. Nice price. On a case buy. I think it's uh, 55 60 at the winery. So uh, so there's some value in that as well. And this is a gift to all your wine club members, right? This is a Parker collection uh, named after you? Yes, yeah, it's uh, my namesake uh, wine collection, and uh, I'm quite proud to have it. Extremely limited production, uh, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's, an, it's, a, it's an earmark on our, on our it's, a, it's a flagship on our, or it's a something on our, it's a something weird we're not. Well, I'll tell you this much. It is definitely a gift to all the people that are in the collection club. So uh, cheers to the yeah. holiday uh, yeah. gift to them, the Papillon from Warren Swift. Cheers. Cheers.